Hi, Buzzy. So what are we going to do with Buzzy today? We are going to clip his nails. You can see they're way too long. Yep. And he's got one that has completely curled under and then starting to go into his paw. So we're so. going to fix that. I want to mention a couple of unique features about Rex's. You look at their whiskers, see how his are curly? Californians do not have curly whiskers. You can see it's curling around his eye. It's one of the unique features on Rex's. Hi. See, he's got the curly whiskers around his face. Let's see if I can get this off his eye. Here we go. Beautiful. His bottom layer underneath fur. Let me show you. I can do it without him tearing me up. It's white. Mm -hmm. A white tail like a cotton tail. Does he have the rings? He does have the rings. He's a full blood rat. Okay. Cheers, make a noise. Hey, boy. Uh uh. Stop. Stop. Okay. Okay. I call the rings. See where his fur does different layers of color? That's what they call the rings. And the more rings they have, the higher their value. And he has three rings. see that. And anywhere you go on his fur, you'll see the different layers of rings. These are not the smallest bunny out there, but they're considered the mid to small size. Their fur feels like velvet. Has a very good back strap. No. Or the footies. The footies. Okay. When you're clipping their nails, you normally do health checks on the rabbits. As you can see on the bottom of his paw, take you in a little closer. He has sores, and those sores are very common among the Rex breeds. And the best way to combat this is in their cages, you have resting pads and or cardboard for them to rest on. There is times that the sores get to the point that they're bleeding. And there is a product you can get at Tractor Supply that helps with it. This is how you hold them to stun them so that you can actually trim their nails. 
You use your thumbs to hold their ears down so that you claim dominance. You use the rest of your hands to hold their paws and your index fingers to hold their jaw and their neck in place. When you do that, they don't fight as much. Okay. You trim your nail, to trim their nails, you're going to take a flashlight and you're going to go underneath the nail so you can tell where the click is or the blood vessel so that you don't get it and hurt them. And it's way down here where the pink is. All the white can come off. It's just the pink is the blood thing. Well, show me the claws you don't want. Watch. Those are bad. Very bad. It's got to be trimmed. It's keeping him from walking correctly. And this is Bubba. Bubba is the daddy to Fuzzy. Yes, Bubba says hi. <laughs> Alrighty. All up into my stomach for some reason. <laughs> I no longer are my peaches. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> These are nails that are way too long. Been too long since we trimmed them. Same thing. Look for the quick. His nails are a lot thicker, which is why dog trimmers instead of tunnel clippers. Makes it a lot easier. That and normally by the time we're done, he's fighting. That is long. Very long. And if you cut them too short and they bleed, use regular kitchen on purpose flour to stop the bleeding. Okay, the, the last second there, we thought we cut him too close the way he squirmed. Nope, he's just fighting. All good. Pan he's not back. enjoying being on his back. And it's a dark now, so it's harder to see. You just have to find an angle where the light shows. your front feet, please. So we have our pink line somewhere down here.
I cannot tell, so I'm not going to cut you more off that one. I'm trying to get a picture so you can kind of see what she's doing. Different light. I have a light in my purse. No, I cannot tell. Okay. There's no color. His front claws are just completely dark. It's next to impossible to tell on this one. So I guess when I can't tell, then I cut just like a dog on the front where you get the little indent. The rest is hollowed out. I'll cut up to that indent. I know the clip is not there. Like so. The indent right there. Looks like you take probably a smidge more off. I can, but I'm not. I cannot tell where the click is, and I really don't want to hurt him, so I'm not going to. Okay, because technically they're still kind of long if you look at them. Yes, they are. It's just, I really don't want to hurt him, and I can't tell where it's at, so I'm not going to cut you guys. Okay. You're going to take more off of his hook? No, I took some off. I, I told you. I okay. Can't tell where the click's at. And on him as well, as you see, he's got... Where he's had the scabs on his paws. They feel better. He's good. 